First AAA session for the PIAA Team Championships. Cumberland Valley faces off against Central Mountain. We start at 189. Anthony Brusino for CV tied at two in on a single and capitalizes for two and the lead. Brusino says that is enough as he holds on for a 4-3 decision and a fast start for Cumberland Valley. Next up, 215, Bryce Butler. It's a thriller. Butler up in the match after a takedown, but gives up an escape and gets called for locked hands. He is now down seven to four with 10 seconds left. Call him a magician. Escape, takedown, we go to sudden victory. Butler does not stop, off the whistle. He grabs two, the bench is pumped as the Eagles have a six zip lead early. Yes, at 107 pounds, Phil Montez, early takedown for the lead. Corner watches as he puts in a bar to the back. That is good for six and bonus and a 12-6 Cumberland Valley lead. We are tied at 12 all when we go to 121. Logan Maurer plays a game of catch. Three takedowns in the first, puts them on a fast pace. And that ends with a third period fall and more bonus for CV as the Eagles lead 18 to 12. 127, Alexander Tennis, volley and serve in the first, grabs a two love lead. Top position to start the second period, locks it in, cradle to make it 5-1 with the back points, Tennis tilts his way to a Tech and a 23-12 CV lead. Central Mountain would then go back to back to back falls for a 30 to 23 advantage. The Wildcats would get a decision to make it 33-23 with two bouts left. At 160, Gabriel Belga needs bonus to keep the match alive for Cumberland Valley. He gets after it with the lead. Double bar, lays them flat. That is six to make it 33-29. But Central Mountain holds on at 172 to take it 36-29 the final. Eagles in the consolation bracket after leaving it all on the mat. And this is the first time anyone on this team has been in the Giant Center. So the way we came out and we fought, I, I couldn't be more proud of them. It didn't end up the way we wanted it to, but at the end of the day, these kids showed you know, no nerves, no hesitation. They went out here and they battled, and that's all you can ask for. Cumberland Valley looks to regroup as they are back after it Friday morning against Penridge.